Dr. Steven Zamanik here. It's Wednesday, and normally on a Wednesday I would have had a couple of Bible studies and another one this evening. Opportunity to get together with friends and people that would hopefully become friends, discussing God's Word. What an amazing God that we get to serve if we're willing to serve Him. The coronavirus has really transformed my opportunities to get together with people. Normally during the week, I, like you, have a lot on my plate, sometimes more than I wish I had, but I've always enjoyed being able to run around and do all of the things that I wanted to do and get to be with the people I wanted to be. Sunday's coming, and normally on Sunday I'd get the opportunity to gather together with friends and worship the Lord together. Church has always been an important part of my life. It's not just the worship, it's not just the teaching, it's not just the opportunity to join together with others. It's about friendships. To be able to share a little bit with people that I normally wouldn't get to see any other day but Sunday. Because of the quarantine that's on us, I'm missing that. I don't know about you, but I'm missing getting to gather together with people from church, whether it's in the sanctuary at one of the coffee shops, discussing who God is and how amazing he's been to us over the years. While I'm sitting here thinking about that, I wonder how much God misses us when we choose to self-quarantine from him. I mean, think about it. We have access to each other, videos like this, email, text, Facebook, whatever else is out there. But we have to choose to not self-quarantine in order to contact somebody. We're not just going to take it for granted that we're going to see them at the coffee shop, see them at church, see them at one of the meetings we go to. We have to take a deliberate step now and go make the effort to contact somebody. I just wonder if we're doing that with God. Or are we choosing to self-quarantine from him during this time of forced quarantine? Are we taking time to open the scriptures and see what he has to say? Are we taking time to talk with him? Are we taking time to reevaluate what's important to us in relationship to our commitment to him? I'm going through James this morning and I just came across this amazing little verse, wanted to share it with you. James writes to people who had self-quarantined themselves from God, and this is what he says. So therefore, submit to God, verse 7, resist the devil he's going to flee from. We're all familiar with that one. But because of our familiarity with it, we often skip verse 8. Verse 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, sinners, purify your heart, you double-minded people. He's talking here to people who are followers of God, and he's calling them sinners and double-minded. The reason for that is because they've become so focused on the things of this life that they have self-quarantined themselves from a genuine, meaningful relationship with God. Are you and I doing that in this time of quarantine? Are we self-quarantining from God, living like the sinners? Are we double-minded, on the one hand saying, God, protect me, but on the other hand, not talking to him about anything else? I want to encourage you to lift the quarantine. Lift it. Begin to spend time talking with God. Begin spending time reading his word. Begin spending time contacting others on his behalf to see how they're doing. To use the line from that old song, be his hands extended. You and I are under quarantine, but we do not have to be quarantined from God. Whatever you're doing today, I'm asking you to remember this. Because of Jesus, life is good today.